Praise the Lord, my sisters and brothers. I'm your sister in Christ, Michelle Rice, and this is the Prayer Connection, where you make a connection with God. Yes, this is now the Prayer Connection, where you make a connection with heaven. Now, this show is designed to build you up, to strengthen you, and to encourage you to go unto another level in your prayer life. Yes, it's designed by God to catapult you and to launch you forward and to another level in your prayer life. And we know that it's all done by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We give him all the praise, we give him all the glory, and we give him all the honor. Father God, we bless you today. We give you all the glory that's due unto your name. Father God, you're the only help we know. Father God, you're our help in the name of Jesus. You're our help in time of trouble. You're our help in tribulation. You're our help, oh God. You're our help in trials. You're our help, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, you are our help. You are our help in persecution. You are our help in problems and perils. You are our help, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. You are our help in adversities. You are our help in afflictions. You are our help, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. You are our help, Lord God. You are our help in negative circumstances and situations. You are our help, God, when we are sick and diseased and crying out, God, you are our help. You are our help, God, in depression, oppression, sadness, sorrow, and grief. You're the only help we know. So we look into the hills. Hallelujah. From which cometh our help. Our help come from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. We're looking into the help, only help we know. His name is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. He's your help in tribulation. He's your help in sorrow. He's your help in financial deficit. He's your help in death. He's your help. He's the only help you know. You're looking to the east. You're looking to the west. You're looking to the south. You're looking to the north. You look. You look. You look all around you. And there's no help. But if you look into the hills, from whence cometh your help. Your help is coming from the Lord in the name of Jesus. He's your knight in shining armor. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ. Oh, Ah, he's my knight in shining armor. He's your knight in shining armor. He's your help today. He's your help in a pandemic. He's your help in an epidemic. He's your help in pestilence. He's your help in plague. He's your help in famine. He's your help in drought. He's your help in the land of not enough. He's your help in debt. He's your help in unemployment. He's your help in sadness and sorrow. He's your help in oppression, depression, sadness, sorrow, and grief. He's your help. So if you need help today, I'm here to tell you, look unto the hills from whence cometh your help. Your help come from the Lord in the name of Jesus who made heaven and earth. Oh, He's your help in weakness. He's your help. He's your strength. He'll be your strength in weakness. He'll be your provision in lack. He'll be your joy and sorrow in the name of Jesus which leads us to our prayer today that we're going to pray and confess and decree and declare today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The scripture that we're going to pray today, confess today, decree and declare today, prophesy today, open up our mouth and send a word of Psalms chapter 30 verse 5b. Psalms chapter 30. Verse 5b says, Weeping may endure for the night, but joy cometh in the morning. 
That's our scripture today. That's our scripture today. God is speaking you today. He says weeping may endure for the night. But joy is coming in the morning. I'm telling you, that night season is over. God is telling me to tell you today, you, you, and that's you, you that's listening today, that that weeping season is over. It's over. That weeping season is over. Weeping may endure for the night. But joy cometh in the morning. That weeping season is over. That night season is over. I know we're still in a pandemic. I know we're still in a plague and a pestilence. But I'm talking to you today that God is coming to be your sunlight. Not the S U N light, but the S O N light. The sunlight. Jesus is your light. He's shining into the darkness. Jesus says, I will shine into the darkness and the darkness can't even comprehend it. He's your sunlight. He's your light in the night season. He's your night. He's your light in the night season. He's your light in the night season. When death is all around you, a thousand might fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, but it won't come nigh you. Because God is taking you out of that night season. He's taking you out of that weeping season. In the mighty name of Jesus, let's pray. Now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we give you praise, O oh God. We give you glory, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, your word says that weeping may endure for the night. But joy cometh in the morning. I'm praying today for you today. God sent me to pray for you. I'm praying for everyone that's oppressed, depressed, sad, and sorrow and grieving. Today, we decree and declare that your weeping season is over. That night season is over. In the name of Jesus, and joy has come. I decree and declare in the life of everyone that's depressed and oppressed that, that, the, that the joy of the Lord will be your strength. When you got strength, you got joy. And when you got joy, you got strength. I decree and declare over your life from the, from the mouth of God that a merry heart is going to do you good like a medicine. God says, take your medicine. Take your medicine today. Take your medicine today. The medicine of the word of God that give you a merry heart. Give you a joy unspeakable and full of glory. We decree and declare that everyone that's listening today, that's going through any sadness, sorrow, or grief, that he, God will give you joy unspeakable and full of glory. Hallelujah. He will give you joy and not just happiness. Happiness depends on what's happening. But joy depends on Jesus. Hallelujah. Let me say that again. Happiness depends on what's happening. But joy depends on Jesus. So we decree and declare that your merry heart, God's giving you a merry heart. That the good like a medicine. He's giving you joy. He's going to, he's giving it to you right now, even as I speak. He's giving you joy unspeakable and full of glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, because your weeping season is over. That night season is over. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Psalms 30 verse 5b says, weep may endure for the night, but joy cometh in the morning. You might be weeping because your finances are getting low. You might be weeping today because of lack and not enough. But God says today that he's your Jehovah Jireh, the God that supplies all of your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. He's your Jehovah Jireh, the God that supplies all of your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So you don't have to weep no more. What, what's your name? Your name Mary? Mary, no need to weep. What's your name today? John? K Kendra? It's no need to weep. Put your name in. It's no need to weep in this season and time about your finances because he's your, he's your Jehovah Jireh, the God that supplies all of your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. He will give you more than enough. In the name of Jesus, 
The young lions who lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing, shall not want any good thing. Those of you that are givers and tithers, he said there's an open window over you. There is an open window over you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. He's pouring you out blessings that you have not room enough to receive. And he's rebuking the devourer for your sake. He's opened up the flood that is in heaven for you right now. Even as I speak, so shall my words be. They go forth out of my mouth and will not return it to me void. But it will accomplish what I please and prosper unto the thing to where I send it in the name of Jesus. We send in the word to you right now. That every need is met. Every bill is paid. You're coming out of debt in the name of Jesus Christ. He's giving you the power to make wealth in the name of Jesus. That he may establish his covenant in you. You got power to make wealth in the name of Jesus. He got ability to make wealth. You got the talent, the skill, the favor to make wealth in the name of Jesus. According to Deuteronomy 8, 8, 18. You got the power to make wealth in the mighty name of Jesus. And there's an open window. Not, not just an open window, but an open heaven. It's thank God for the windows of heaven are open. But then not only the windows of heaven are open, the whole heaven is open. There's an open heaven over you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God is God is good. We may endure for the night, but joy cometh in the morning. No need to worry about the finances. And not only he's giving you, giving you your needs being met, he's giving you desires. Your desires. You might just want it. You might not need it. But you just desire it. He said, if you delight yourself in the Lord, he'll give you the desires of your heart. He will give you the desires of your heart in the mighty name of Jesus. According to Psalms 37, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. He withhold no good thing to those who walk, walk uprightly. We can endure for the night. Joy cometh in the morning. You got reason to rejoice because your needs get met. You got a reason to rejoice because your desires and your wants are being met. In the name of Jesus. He's taking you to your land of milk and honey. He's taking you to your wealthy place. In the name of this, a wealthy place sitting for you. In Jesus' name. God, we give you praise. God, we give you glory, though, God, that weeping may do for the night. Joy cometh in the morning. Anything that we weeped over it in that night season, in this new season called day, it doesn't, it, he's you giving us joy. We got a reason to rejoice because we are in our joy season. You got a reason to rejoice. You got a reason to rejoice. You got a reason to rejoice because you are in your joy season. You got a reason to rejoice. You got a reason to rejoice. You got a reason to rejoice because you're in your joy season. You're in your daytime season in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Anybody going through any sickness or disease? Going? Are you? Have you been attacked by the coronavirus, the spirit of corona? And you're sick in your body. Is it cancer today? Is it sugar diabetes today? Is it heart disease that you're suffering today? You or your family or your loved ones. Come on, whatever it is. Is it upper rest, upper respiratory sickness today? Is it arthritis today? Rheumatoid arthritis, autoimmune disease, muscular cirrhosis. Is it what is it? Whatever it is. Is it whatever the name of the disease at the name of Jesus, every knee bows and every tongue confesses that Jesus Christ is Lord, because this is your, this is your joy season. The night season is over. It's the day season and it's your joy season to walk in divine health. Do you need divine health today? Do you need divine health today? If you do, the Bible says that by his stripes you are healed today. He's taking your infirmity. He's bearing your sickness and disease. And with his stripes you are healed today. With his stripes, with Jesus stripes, you are healed today. He's taking your infirmity. He's bearing your sickness and disease. And with his stripes you are healed today. And you are anointed God, we decree and declare that the anointing of God is upon your people to heal their bodies. The definition of the anointing is the burden removing, yoke destroying power of God. 
The definition of the anointing is the burden removing, yoke destroying power of God. It removes burdens and destroys yokes. It removes sicknesses and destroys sicknesses. It removes diseases and destroys diseases. It removes cancer and destroys cancer. That's what the anointing does. It removes burdens and destroys yokes. It removes cancer and destroys cancer. It removes viruses and destroys viruses. It removes it and destroys it. It's one thing to remove it. But the Bible says it removes it and destroys it so it won't come back. Sugar diabetes is being removed and destroyed right now off of your body. Somebody, you know, in your family got sugar diabetes is right now. Receive it. It's, it's been removed and destroyed. It's been removed and destroyed. This disease has been removed and destroyed by the burden removing, yoke destroying power of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are anointed to live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. Is there a death sentence over your life? Did somebody in your family, they told them they got only a certain, certain amount of days to live. Do you know a family member, a loved one, someone you know, a family, a friend, a co-worker, your boss, they have a death sentence over them. But Jesus says, I came to give them life and life more abundantly. And I take authority in the name of Jesus over death, untimely death, sudden death, and premature death. We bind it in the name of Jesus. We bind death, premature death, untimely death. In the name of Jesus, certain death in the name of Jesus. Be binded up in the name of Jesus. And Jesus says, I come to give you life and life more abundantly. They got abundant life in the name of Jesus. God's giving them abundant life. They're living and not dying and declare the works of the Lord. And I decree and declare by the power of God that God is extending life. He's a God of divine extension. He's extending life. I know, I know it's once, once it was appointed unto man once to die, and then after that, the judgment. But God's saying today, He's extending life. I know what the devil told you that they was going to die an untimely death, but I'm here to say by the Spirit of the living God that they're going to live and not die and declare the works of the Lord that God is extending their life in Jesus' mighty name. Receive it. Receive that thing right now in Jesus' name. Oh, na na masia no 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 koskata. Ya no 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 kosia na 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 shite. Ya no 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 korabasata. Somebody said, I mean, just, just having weakness. I, I'm not really sick, but I just feel weak. Don't have no strength. Don't, my get up and go have got up and went. I don't, I don't lost my energy and my strength. He said oh, that that weak season only endured for the night. But joy is coming in the morning. Weakness may endure for the night, but strength is coming in the morning. It's morning time. Time to smell the coffee. It's morning time. Time to get up and smell the roses. It's morning time. In Jesus say, it's morning time. So that weak season is over. Like that night season is, was over. That sick season is over. That lack season is over. That death season is over. It's over. That So for you today, that weak season is over. He comes to give you strength. Those that wait upon the Lord, he shall renew their strength. They'll mount upon wings as eagles. They're running out, be weary, and they're walking not faint. Receive it. He's causing you to... Wait on him. Worship him. For those that wait to worship upon the Lord, he will renew their strength. You're going to mount up on wings as eagles. You're going to run and not be weary. And you're going to walk and not faint. I decree it and declare that you are strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That season is over. The weeping season over where you wept in your season of trial and tribulation. He come to bring deliverance. I say deliverance has come to your house. Salvation has come to your house in the name of Jesus. Somebody, your family not saved and look like they just, just that the enemy is coming to come to get them so strong. And they like they just have this barrier between them and Christ. I decree and declare that season is over. Bible said, Thou shalt be saved and thy house. 
So, God, we pray right now for those that don't know Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. Father God, and the family members, God, you promise us that thou shalt be safe in thy house. So, God, we decree and declare in the name of Jesus, if all our children are being saved, that salvations come to our house. Salvations come to our children. Salvations come to our uncles. Salvations come to our aunties. Salvation has come in the mighty name of Jesus. Salvation has come to my mothers and our fathers. Salvation has come to my grandparents. Salvation has come to our children. Salvation has come to our sons and daughters. Salvation has come to our sisters and brothers. Salvation has come to our cousins. Salvation has come to our household. Salvation has come to our loved ones. Salvation has come to our house. Salvation has come to our family members. Salvation has come in the name of Jesus. You don't have to weep over your family members because they because they're in sin and they just and the, and the, the enemy had them in the grip in his dark grip but today they're being free set free today heal the sun sets free is free indeed and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty they're getting freed up today they're getting they're getting loose satan loose them and let them go loose our sons and daughters loose them and let them go loose our children in the mighty name of jesus loose our loved ones loose our family members in the name of jesus all will be saved god said you will be safe in that house once you get saved, it's a down payment that the others are coming in to. You're the tithe of the family. They're all coming in. None will see hell. All will get caught up to meet them in the air in the name of Jesus. All going to be saved. So rejoice. Weeping may endure for the night. Joy cometh in the morning. Psalms 30 verse 5b says, Weeping may endure for the night. Joy cometh in the morning. Mother, don't weep over your children no more. They're all coming in. God heard your prayers. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. He heard your prayers. He heard you. He, he saw your tears. He heard your prayers. And they're all coming in. All going to get saved. Thou shalt be saved in thy house. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Some of you are weeping because you feel like you lost time. Like you wasted time. It's like, it's like you just wasted time. But the Bible says that God will restore to you the years that the canker worm has stolen, the comp the caterpillar, the palmer worm. He'll he restore to you to the years that the enemy has stolen. So don't weep no more over lost time. God is restoring time. He's the God of eternity. He rules over time. And he's restoring to you time to do what you need to do. Because you got to work the works of him who sent you while it's yet day. Because when night comes, no man can work. He's restoring to you time so you can work the works of him who has sent you while it's yet day. Because when night comes, no man to work can work. He's giving you more time to do the will of the Lord. He's giving you more time to be about the Father's business. He's giving you more time to finish your ministry. He's giving you more time to win the loss at any cost. He's giving you more time to witness. He's giving you more time to evangelize. He's giving you more time to more time to intercede and pray for those that don't know Jesus Christ. He's giving you more time. Don't weep over lost time. We may endure for the night, but joy cometh in the morning. He's restoring to you time. He's, re, you, he's causing you to redeem the time because the days are evil. He's restoring time so you can recover all that you lost in the old season, in the night season. He's giving you more time in the name of Jesus. God is good to us. You no need to weep. That weeping season is over. It's time to rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. This is the day that the Lord hath made. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Be glad in it in your, in your new season of daytime. The night season is over. It's time to wake up, wake up, smell the coffee. Wake up, wake up, smell the roses. Because your weeping season is over. That night season is over. According to Psalms 30, verse 5b, we may endure for the night. Joy comes in the morning. In Jesus' name. Now, for those of you that don't know... Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, you are in a night season. You in darkness. Total darkness. 
total eclipse of the sun. Not the S-U-N, but the S-O-N. You in total darkness because you don't know Jesus. Now, if you would like to receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, I'm here to lead you in a simple prayer. Come on, receive Jesus today. Come out the darkness. Come out the, come out the night. Come out the eclipse of the sun. Come to Jesus, just as you are. Ready to receive Jesus Christ? Ready to receive life and life more abundant? Ready to, to ready to come out that weeping season? Ready, come to the day of light. Ready, are you ready to come to the kingdom of God? In Jesus' name, let's, let's pray. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm a sinner in need of a savior. I come to you. You said in your word, repeat it. You said in your word, if I confess my sin, you'll be faithful and just to forgive me of my sin and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. You said, if I confess with my mouth, the Lord Jesus, and believe that God raised him from the dead, I would be saved. With my heart, I believe it. I believe it. And with my mouth, I just make confession. Now, if, we, if you pray this simple prayer, you have just went from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light. You came out the darkness, and now you're in the light, in the name of Jesus. You are in the light. You are in the kingdom of God. Now, since you are in the kingdom of God and you are a child of God, this is what you need to do. You need to talk to God. Pray like we do here on the prayer connection. Talk to your friend because he's a friend that thinks closer than a brother. Talk to him in prayer all day long. Just talk to him like he's your friend. Talk to him because like talk to him like he's your friend because he is your friend. <laughs> talk to him. That's prayer. Get a good Bible. Read the Word of God. That's the the primary way God talks to His children through the Word of God. So you're reading the word of God because it's your fruit. It's your bread and butter. So you're praying, you're reading the word. Then ask God to lead you to a good church. Lead you to a good church and you can join up and you can have a community of believers that, that you are growing with, loving with, sharing with, living life with. You need it. You need it to be in a community of believers in Jesus' mighty name. A man. Well, okay, saints, I will see you next time on the prayer connection where you make a connection with God. I'll see you next time on the prayer connection where you make a connection with heaven. Bye-bye. Love you. And most of all, our God loves you. Bye-bye.